you saw our last video on uppercase letter A, you'll know that we are working through the uppercase letters and teaching specific tricks and tips for each letter based on how you write the letter. So for today, we are working on uppercase letter B. When you teach uppercase B, you'll know that there are only two forms, lines that are included in the letter. There's a line down and then there's two bumps. If you separate those, you've got a small bump on the top and a small bump on the bottom. So making uppercase B is pretty easy because there are only those three different forms that make up the letter. So first of all, before we get into teaching uppercase B, let's talk about how to teach the letter B formation because this is one of the letters that is included in the straight line down letters. So you know when you have the uppercase letters of the alphabet, there are several letters that include a straight line down. For example, one of those is I with the top and bottom. One is L, which goes straight down and then across. Another is T. There is K. There's H. All of these are uppercase letters. There's a few others that include the straight line down. For example, M, N. Today we're talking about B, and you know that these letters all have a straight line down starting at the top. These are all together in a letter family. B is just one more of those letters. We'll talk in another video about letter order to teach the, the uppercase letters and which letters you should teach first. I will also include a link in the description below which covers letter order. So we know that these letters are all in the same family, so they are going to be grouped together in teaching letters. So that is what you need to know about how to teach the uppercase letter B. You need to work together with all of these letters in the same family. So when you teach students to write uppercase letter B, you'll start with those form, those sections of the letter, the straight line down and the two curves. You always want to teach uppercase letters starting at the top. All of the uppercase letters start at the top line when you have lined paper. You've got a top line and a bottom line and then a middle line. All of the uppercase letters start at the top and B is no exception. So we're going to start with working on that straight line down. When you teach students to write uppercase B, you can start with that pre-writing stroke of just up and down, starting at the top, pulling down towards the body. Once you have that pencil stroke with starting right at that top, not starting above or below, and finishing at the baseline, not going down below it, that's when you know that you have pencil control and working on, if you don't see those strokes, for example, I might go and say, okay, this one didn't quite stop at the bottom and it also didn't quite start, start at the top line. So we're gonna work on more pencil strokes that have those qualities. If you don't see those qualities, then you know you need to take a step back and work on the pre-writing lines. One way that you can do that with your students is using different sensory materials such as wiki sticks. Just work on straight line down. You can work on tracing in sensory bins. You can work on with a dry erase board and a marker making straight lines down and then using a craft pom-pom to erase that straight line down. When they push to erase they're going to really squeeze those muscles of the hand and try to erase that. I also like to use paper towels crumbled up and erase that way, making sure that they follow that line. Okay, next we're going to move on to the pre, those are the pre-writing strokes for uppercase letter B. You've got that straight line down. The next part is the little curve. So you've got a top little curve and a bottom little curve connected you'll see that they make the B. When they're not connected, what does that look like? 
a 13, right? So when you have handwriting mistakes, this could be something where you see problems with copying materials or spelling errors. You just, a letter B can kind of turn into something else. So we wanna work on making sure those curve strokes start at the top, end in the middle, and then start in the middle, end in the bottom. But they also wanna be connected to that straight line down. So that, that pre-writing stroke is a pencil control thing to worry about. Um, you wanna make sure you've got that straight line followed by bump, bump. Now, when you're using those pre-writing strokes, I like to use the uh, prompt of a bump because for letter B, we've got starting with a B and ending with a B. So I like to say straight line down, bump, bump. It's a really good verbal prompt to help our students remember that curve. Okay, now that, oh, and one other thing, if you are seeing issues with those little bumps, you can go back and work on the pre-writing strokes of curve, curve, curve across the page. This is kind of a switch from our magic C, which has a, a lot of similarities in other letters. So working on materials with a sensory bin or again, the wiki sticks, you can work on creating that curved line, okay? So that is our pre-writing